President Trump signing multiple executive orders on AI after the All In podcast hosted tech and government leaders at a summit in Washington. Joining us right now is White House AI and crypto czar David Sachs. And, and David, welcome. Um, we really appreciate your being here today. There's a lot that we've been trying to figure out, trying to understand what yesterday all means. And I wonder if you can tell us how the private sector reads all of this and what they will do in response. Well, th thank you for having me. I mean, first of all, let me just frame up what I think President Trump uh, did yesterday. It was, I, I think, the most important technology speech by an American president since uh, President Kennedy declared that we had to win the space race. And in a similar way, President Trump declared that we had to win this AI race. And I think you could argue that the AI race is even more important than the space race because it's going to determine who reshapes the global economy and who the superpowers of the 21st century are going to be. Uh, if the U.S. leads, continues to lead in AI, we will be, will remain the most powerful country. But if we don't, uh, we could fall behind our global competitors like China. And I think President Trump laid out uh, a plan for, for winning this AI race. David, I'd agree with you. I think this probably is more important than the space race. Um, how far ahead of China do you think we are right now in this race? Um, how long would it take for them to catch up? How do we prevent that from happening specifically? So I think when you look at our lead in the AI race, it kind of depends on what level of the stack you're looking at. So if you look at the top of the stack with the AI models, we're only, I would say, months ahead of the Chinese models. They've done a good job with models like DeepSeek and Quen. Uh, but if you go deeper in the stack, we, we have, uh, I'd say, uh, more significant advantages. So. Uh, when it comes to chip design, our leading company is NVIDIA. Their leading company is Huawei. I would say that uh, NVIDIA is still a couple of years ahead. Then you go deeper in the stack to chip manufacturing, and you've got uh, TSMC on the western side of the ledger. And they're several years ahead of the Chinese national champion, which is called SMIC. So it just depends on what level of the stack you're talking about. But I think the most important thing is that we try to maintain this lead. We don't want to sacrifice it. And I think President Trump brought up a few really important ways of doing this. Number one is we have to unleash American energy. The new AI data centers, the new infrastructure we need to build is, uh, is very power hungry. It requires a lot of electricity. And President Trump signed an executive order to build out AI infrastructure. And he's understood for a long time that we have to drill, baby, drill. We have to build, baby, build. We have to, again, uh, if you want to have AI dominance, you've got to have energy dominance. So that was a huge part of, of the speech. Another area that I think is very important that President Trump talked about is AI exports. We want the whole world using the American tech stack. We want uh, the, the world to consolidate around an American standard. If we don't provide that standard, Huawei surely will. And so I think President Trump brought up that, and he signed an executive order to make AI exports easier. He, he also made commentary. Well, actually, let's go to the, the energy part of this first, because Signing this executive order is one thing. There have been others who have theorized that you really need an infrastructure plan that's organized by the government, kind of like the national highway system was set up. Do you think we need something along those lines, or can private industry really step in and, and bring us the energy needs that are, are going to be upon us in the next couple of years? Well, private industry is already investing hundreds of billions of dollars in this infrastructure build out. So the, the private sector investment is there. What we need to do is unlock it from the shackles of all this red tape. It takes years to get permitted. President Trump promised to make that easier, to bring the timeline down from years to weeks or months. Uh, there's uh, environmental concerns that really tie up these projects, and he's tasked Lee Zeldin with solving those. So I think that there, we do need to have a more of a partnership mentality with the private sector, but it's the private sector is going to do the building here, and we just need to get unnecessary red tape out of the way to enable that. David, uh, related to that, though, is this question of just how much energy is going to be consumed. We talk about it on this broadcast all the time, the amount of energy that's required, the amount of water that's required. Obviously, certain states are uh, better adept uh, and, and also have less regulations around them. But ultimately, you know, we've had some guests come on and say, you know, five years from now, all these governors who are begging for this stuff to, to, to happen in their state may say to themselves, you know what, electricity prices are going to go up in my state uh, to consumers. There's a question if there's a hurricane, who ultimately, you know, gets the electricity <laughs> in that because of the uptime requirements and guarantees that a lot of these tech companies are making with the data centers and therefore the energy providers, that that could leave consumers out in the, in the cold. 
How do you think about that dynamic? Well, this is exactly why I think we have to build more energy. We have to unleash American energy is because you don't want residential prices to go up every time you add a data center. It doesn't make sense. So it's true that in order to enable these new data centers are very power hungry, you have to build more power generation. But that's the whole point of the executive order. And that's the whole point that of President Trump's policy around making it easier to, again, drill, baby, drill. This is a campaign promise he made years ago, is that we had to make it easier to produce American energy. And he's had uh, all of the above approach. I mean, he um, has, wants to make it easier for natural gas, for um, uh, nuclear. He signed executive orders to make nuclear easier, and even what he calls big, beautiful coal. So I think that, uh, you know, the president has had this idea for a long time. He understands that more energy production is the basis for all future growth. And now that we have this AI boom going on, it's definitely the foundation for uh, this AI, uh, for, for the growth in AI as well. So I think this is the, this, the plan of the administration is we got to produce more energy.